Uh, next is static zero hazard. How to consider? So static zero in uh, in static zero we expecting zero output. We expecting the zero output and one will came for a short duration of time. Momentarily a uh, one will be coming into the picture and that is actually unwanted. We always want the zero output but one came into the picture. So this should be avoided. Okay. So how this one came? See this is the circuit illustration of static zero hazard okay x1 x2 x3 we have three inputs and the remaining or not and gates so initially i am giving 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 plus 0 0 here zeros here that means here it is 1 0 plus 1 1 so 1 here 1 here out sorry here 0 here 1 so 1 into 0, 0 only. So we got a 0 output here. Now, this is x1, x2, x3. This x2 is changes from 0 to 1. x2, I am changing from 0 to 1. x2 value is 0 initially, I am changing the 0 value to 1. That means x2 I am changing 0 to 1. Here, is, here this not get have some proposition delay. Assume that. So this 0 changes to 1. Okay, that means here. 1 that means output should be 0 but this one won't this here it is 1 0 changes to 1 so here it should, should be 1 here it is 1 but because this one came here but that one that one that means output is 0 it won't go to 0 why because there is a propagation delay so at that time what happens to this circuit this all this all these things that happens in parallel okay see this one came see this 0 changes to 1 immediately this 1 into 0 plus 1 this changes to 1 but this one won't go to 0 why because a delay but this gate don't have any delay but here it is 0 so there is a proportion delay so this one there won't be change in 0 so initially it is 1 that 1 it won't it will not change to 0 why because due to proportion delay so actually where it is what was there at the output of this not gate 1 only here it is 1, here also 1. Why? Because propagation delay, due to the propagation delay, the state is not updated. So, previous state only, 1 only. So, 1 into 0, 0 plus 1, 1 only. So, 1 plus 1 into 1. This is 1, this is 1, 1 into 1, output is 1. Clear. So, immediately from 0, it is going to 1. Now, what happens is, after some time duration, this propagation delay over. After the propagation delay, 1 is entered under the node gate. After the propagation delay, this one becomes zero so zero zero output is zero now zero into one this is zero this is one output is zero so output goes to zero so this is static zero hazard so zero we are expecting but due to the propagation delay at this node gate a one came into the picture okay a one came into the system and that one exists for a short duration but still there exists an unwanted state and this is actually called a hazard this is static hazard okay this is another circuit for static hazard explanation nor gate here initially 0 0 0 x2 bar is 1 only so 0 0 1 1 0 0 only so 1 0 0 only so 0 i am getting 0 output now i am changing x2 to 1 but x2 is 1 so x2 bar should be 0 but this won't happen immediately why because there is a propagation delay so this, what happens is at the same time 0 1 output is 0 this is 1 only 1 0 output is 0 0 0 output is 1 now it is going to 1 now after the proportion delay this 1 becomes 0 so now what happens is 0 0 output become 1 so 0 1 output becomes 0 so 1 from 1 it is going to 0 so this is what is called a static hazard 0 hazard now again consider the static one has had the timing diagram here i am drawing the timing diagram uh, for the circuit of this static one okay this is static one has had illustration so one 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 it is changing to one zero one okay so look at here uh, x1 x2 x3 this is output one if one 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 what is the output one 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 Three input you are giving output is one only. Okay. So what is how to write the output expression for this? This is the output f expression for f. What is f here? 
this is x1 x2 so this is x1 and x2 this is x2 bar x3 so x2 bar and x3 so output of this is x1 x2 plus x2 bar into x3 simple this and gate and or gate you just simply you can write like this x1 x2 plus x2 bar x3 okay so that is the output equation how to draw the timing diagram this is the timing diagram so look at here x1 x3 here i am writing x1 x3 x1 x3 is 1 1 always so 1 so x2 i am changing immediately it is 1 to 0 okay like that so to draw the circuit diagram timing diagram x1 x3 now changes so it is 1 what happens to x2 x2 initially it is 1 after a time i am changing to 0 see it is 1 after some time i am changing 1 to 0 but no changes to x1 s3 that's why i'm taking it as 1 so x2 is changes from 1 to 0 what is x2 bar opposite of this see x2 bar is actually this x2 is given to a node gate and node gate have a propagation delay so what happens is x2 this is 1 so this is 0 when this 1 becomes 0 immediately at this time it is going to 1 it should goes to 1 but it should not go to 1 why because a propagation delay see input of node gate this is a node gate okay this is a node gate and this is 1 so node gate output is 0 this is 1 node gate output is 0 initially but due to propagation delay when 1 changes to 0 see this 1 changes to 0 0 should changes to 1 but this is not happens immediately why why because due to the propagation delay that means propagation delay means you know what is propagation delay uh, the time taken for signal to get into and get out, out of the IC or the I, out of the gate so at when it reaches here this is 0 1 1 changes to 0 immediately should goes to 1 but it won't go immediately after a time delay it is going to 1 okay so this is the propagation if there is no propagation delay at this gate what will happen definitely this graph will be like this only this here is like it is going but due to propagation delay after some time only it is going to 1 okay so this is x1 x2 graph x1 x2 this is x1 this is x2 how to draw 1 1 1 1 0 0 so this is x1 x2 graph this is x2 bar x3 x3 graph x2 bar is this x3 graph is this so x2 bar till here it is 0 so till here it is 0 but here 1 1 so it is 1 into 1 1 only so what is f f is x1 s2 plus s2 bar s3 we have x1 s2 we have x2 bar s3 just add 1 1 we will get a 1 only or get a 1 1 or get only this is 0 this is 0 so 0 only this is 0 this is 1 1 only so we are expecting 1 but for a short duration we get a 0 that is static 1 has had okay now we need to realize this with the kmap and how to eliminate this hazard this hazard is actually unwanted no so we need to eliminate somehow we need to eliminate this hazard that we will discuss in the next lecture